Welcome to the Revenue Growth Fast Frame of the Week. I'm here with Mike McCauley, Vice President of Strategy and Marketing for Seco Environmental Corporation. Mike, you have an incredible track record as a CMO and getting off to fast starts. With all of the changes in executives and especially in the CMO role, tenure being just under two years, many of your peers are walking into new roles. Think about the first six months. If you had three or four tips that you would lay out that have been the recipe for success to allow you to get a fast start, how do you think yeah. about that? I think about it in four ways. Okay. First is listen and learn. The second is get alignment, right? Third is discuss what the what it's gonna look like, yeah. right? And then yeah. the fourth piece is really get buy-in on when it's gonna to get tough and what that change is gonna look like that people are asking you to do. Mm. Um, but the first piece on the listen and learn is critical. You've gotta shut up and just listen, right? Mm. Go in to your different stakeholders. It's basic onboarding 101, but practice it. So many people blow it. Yeah. Just shut up, take notes, and listen, synthesize it, and then report back to the team overall yeah. with what your findings are. Yep. So you've got, listen, so I'm gonna unpack each one. So listen and learn, got that. Mm -hmm. um, what was the second one? Align on what's important. Align on what's important. So talk to me about that, because yep. that's a tough one, especially in the CMO role, because you're thinking about brand, right? You're thinking about field marketing, you're thinking about product marketing, you're thinking about solutions marketing, you're thinking about, and right, sales enablement, where does that sit? Yeah, so most of the time what I've found is when you go in to talk to somebody and say, hey, let's talk about marketing, they start talking about tactical as aspects of marketing, right? But if you walk in and say, hey, what's going on with the business, right? What are the business challenges, right? You can get a pretty good perspective and then you can ask after that, okay, so how does marketing relate to that? What do you yep. need for marketing? But then on the aligning piece is yep. after you've done that listen and learn round, you get everybody in the room. And you say, hey, these are my, this is what I heard. Yep. This is what I heard was important. And you force rank. And you allow, you allow people to say, yes, I agree with that being number one. No, change this. Okay. Don't do that. So I've listened and I've learned. Mm -hmm. I've now got some folks aligned. Yep. What's number three? It's uh, discuss the trade-offs. Okay. Right? So that's the forced ranking of yes. one versus five, six versus two. All right? Yep. And well, and not only that, but also in some situations, it's trading off something else totally outside of the function, right? Somewhere else in the business. Yeah. We're gonna do this instead of, we're gonna do it differently, yep. right? Um, and that, that forces a trade off. And then how, how fast would you iterate or modify once you've done that and you've started to execute right. to come back to those same stakeholders so that they know, because you're still new, Yeah. right? So how do you balance that? Yeah, you've got, you've got to have a minimum of every 30 day check-ins, right? You should be able to map out weekly wins, yep. right? To where mm. they're feeling something every week, yep. right? And they're feeling progress towards those goals. And then the, the questions that come on a monthly basis yep. are, are these still the right goals? Very good, appreciate you stopping by for, uh, for some quick hits. All right, everybody, you heard it from Mike. There's a simple four-step framework to follow. And you can take a look at Mike's history. He knows what he's doing and he knows how to get off to a fast start. Until next time, I wish you good luck as you try and make your number.